God bless you brothers and sisters. This is like the fifth time I'm making this video. It, it really is. So let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God bless you guys again. Like I said before, I know that I say this a lot, but I really, really, really do mean it. And so, um, I just want to tell you guys about this dream really fast. This is, um, it felt the, like the realest dream I've ever had or the realest dream I have in a long, long time. Uh, sometimes I get tell that I'm in a dream and I can, um, move around do, and still be me. Or I, I know that, um, I'm watching something like a vision, but this, I was a part of this. It felt like I'm, t as I'm talking to you guys right now. So I'm in my apartment and I think I'm sewing or doing something with my hands. And um, I'm talking to people and I'm asking them about what season it is. And so um, they were telling me, oh, it's prom season or it's graduation season or it's this or it's that. And we're having like just an idle conversation, nothing serious. And then that's when uh, my door opens and my friend comes in. She's like, oh my God, there's something weird outside. The, she's like, there's weird, there's weird lights in the sky. And I'm like, weird lights? And she's like, um, she's like, yeah, I'm like, what do they look like? She's like, open your door, or like, open your window and see. So I open my window. And I see the sky is a, between a burnt orange and a black. Like, it's really, really dark. And so, um, then I see that it's raining and, like, the clouds look like smoke. It's like a, um, they, it's like the form of them, like, the way they're moving. It looks like just smoke or fire. And so, um, I see lightning going through the clouds. And I see, like, these little balls, these little orbs, these, um, uh, of light, the balls of light. And so um, I'm looking at this and I'm like, what is this? I'm like, this is crazy. And so then I turn to my right side and I see coming across my like, the side of my building is a woman laid out in the sky. She was so big. The only thing I could, uh, I, she was so big, I had to start with parts. So I started with her hair first. Her hair was made of a whole bunch of stars. And then that's when um, her face was sort of like, um, like it was like stars outlined her face. And like um, there was, um, there was like planets that were her eyes or something like that. Like it was like, or bigger stars were her eyes. And then um, planets made up her, her dress, right? And so it was like different focal points of her dresser uh, that were made of planets. And then I'm looking at her and like the, there's three things that run through my mind really fast when I see this. One, I'm like, this is the Revelations 12 sign. Two, I'm like, it's not even time for that. I'm like, people are talking about it's going to be in September or whatever. Like these are the things that's going through my mind in the dream. Then the third thing is like, God can do whatever he wants to do. I'm like, no man knows. And I knew I meant like no man knows the time, the day or the hour. And so, um, and then because this felt like the next day, like this felt like, okay, like if you were to have this tomorrow, like that's the way it felt like it was imminent. <laughs> I'm sorry I said it like that, but it's imminent. <laughs> so I'm looking at this sign that just appeared and it was, this was not just one of those signs that people are like, oh, I see a red moon on like, you know, in the east or I see um, the stars falling in this side. You no, know, everybody saw this sign. It was across the world sign. Like it was moving across the sky. And so when I saw this, I immediately started to scream and I said, Jesus, Jesus is coming. And I knew that Jesus was right behind, like he was coming around the corner and I could feel him in my, like in my chest, my heart was pounding. It was like, it was punching at my ribs. It was so, it was pounding so hard. And when I screamed, um, I like screamed Jesus, but it was like such a high pitched sound. It was a sound that I've never made before in my life. But, um, my hearing there was a ringing like a ooh, like in my ears like a bomb had went off or something and i kept screaming his name i could feel my mouth moving but i could only see the vibration of my voice because i couldn't hear anymore and then that's when people started jumping up and they seen that i was frantic and they ran they were like oh, i need to go outside i need to go outside and see this and i was about to go outside with them but i couldn't find my shoes so i was like, i'm not going outside and so I stayed, because I, I knew there was some type of glass or something that was on the ground, like icy glass or something, like ice and glass, or, you know, the, it was so cold outside that the water turned to ice that it cut your foot like glass. Like, it was, just, it was something like that. So 
I was like, it's treacherous out there. I'm not going. So I turned around and shut the door to my house. And I fell on my face. And I started to praise and worship God. I was speaking in tongues. And I could interpret my tongues. And I knew I was asking for mercy. I knew I was asking to be worthy. And I knew... Um, I knew I was asking God for um, uh, to protect the people. Like I was going, I was like, God, please, please let me be worthy enough to escape the things going to come upon this earth and stand before the Son of Man. I was, I was crying out to the Lord in tongues. And then my friend, I look over to my side once I lift up on my knees because I fell on my face and I was praying that. And I lifted up on my knees and raised my hands up. I turn over and see on, on my side and I see a sister in Christ and she walks in. And she's raising her hands up too as she's praising and speaking in tongues and asking God for mercy. And then that's when um, we start to turn into light. And I felt myself being lifted up, and I knew like this was a um, like this was a rapture, and I was just like, oh my God! And I had a vision of people dying. Like when we left, people were just it was so much chaos. It was so much stuff going down. And then I woke up. Now when I woke up, I was on my couch, and I was in my living room. I was on my couch in my living room, and I was still praying in tongues. I was praying in tongues when I woke up. And my heart was pounding. I was shaking. I was like, this was, I was like, I don't know what this was, but this is imminent. I'm like, I'm in, this is going to happen when I'm living in this place. Like, I just moved to this new apartment a couple months ago. And um, I'm just like, this is going to happen while I'm here. And so, you know, it felt like it was going to happen the next day. That's how strong it was. So I reached for my phone to see what time it was. As soon as I picked up my phone, I saw a, um, a YouTube video hit my phone, like a notification. And it said, um... Jesus is coming in a matter of seconds and I felt like the Holy Spirit come over me and I jumped up out of my bed grabbed my Bible and ran to my room and fell on my face and started praying and I was just like Lord have mercy on us have mercy on the people and I just started seeing different nations of people just dropping dead like I saw China people dying in China I saw people dying in um, Korea I saw people die in um, Iraq um, Egypt uh, is some in Israel I knew America oh, so many people were dying and so I was just like God please have mercy on us Lord please have mercy and I was like I pray that we're worthy enough to escape the things that come upon this earth I pray for my enemies I was just on no one so it's just like um, one of the things I got from this dream definitely was the sign everybody's talking about the Revelation um, Revelation 12 sign that's going to happen at this time it will happen at that time and people are following days and dates and it's just like we, we need to understand that it doesn't matter about these days and dates because no man knows the hour. What is important is the season. And what is important is God's coming is imminent. And he has been warning us through people on YouTube, through your friends, through your family, through um, your preachers, your teachers, through the stars, through the through nature, through animals, he is showing you, this is the time, I am coming now, and there's no, like, I, I, I've been saying, like, there's no more time for games, it's not, it's not any time for games, so, like, either you get right with God now, or you, you know, you take this lightly, you don't take it to God, and you do whatever you're gonna do, and you see, you reap the consequences, I think that's another reason, like, I was sowing, I was sowing into the season I'm living in. And so, um, and I was asking them about the season and I was doing work. And so I felt like that represented me doing the work of the Lord in his season. And then he comes, you know? So I, I think that's what that represents. Um, like the, the rain and the darkness, this has been on my heart for a long time. And this, um, I've been feeling was, and it came out of nowhere. I don't know where this came from, but one day, um, a couple weeks ago, I heard three days of rain, three days of darkness. And when I happened to look out my window, it was dark and it was raining. And so I knew that it was, and it was just like the, the ice on the ground or the, it was just cold or whatever. I think that, but it felt like it was still May. It felt like it was still May, but it was just so cold outside. And I knew that this was like a, um, uh, like a form of a tribulation. I'm not saying that three days of darkness is going to happen now, but I'm saying that a, like a darkness is coming or something. And so it's just like, we just need to be prepared. Um, and my friend, when I explained the dream to her and I couldn't find my sandals, she was like, 1155, God is good. I couldn't find my sandals. And she said, um, she said that the, 
that the shoes I couldn't find at the time to go outside was a part of my armor. She was like, that was the shoes of peace. You weren't going to leave your home unless you had your shoes. So you shut the door and stayed in your your, your home for protection. And then um, what's funny was in the dream, I felt like my shoes were under the couch. When I woke up this that morning, I was looking around my house for my shoes to put them on. But I was like, whatever. And I just ran into my room to go pray. I come back in my living room and there are my shoes and my sandals are are under the couch and i'm like this is so funny and, and i have like i always lose myself so but so it's just like the fact that it was there and it was similar to the dream it just made it even more realistic and like just you know it's just i just knew that it was happening so um i pray that you take this to the lord i pray that you um are covered in the blood of jesus and you're repenting and um i pray that your names are written in land's book of life and i pray that you have a wonderful mother's day god bless you guys i love you with the love of christ and i pray that you share that love and you share um that jesus is coming and just to be prepared you know so god bless you guys have a great day